Hello everyone. Today I will show you some very important settings that each of you needs to activate. These settings will affect the performance of your Android system. In other words, if you have noticed that your phone is running poorly, lacks processing speed, lags when playing YouTube videos, or you simply want to watch videos with higher resolution and they are lagging, or you have noticed that when you scroll through the screen or play games, they lag and so on, then definitely watch this video and activate these settings. These are all the settings you need. Even if you have a weak phone and you have already considered buying a new one because it lags, don't rush. Of course, because your phones have a lot of limitations on the operation of your processor, graphics processor, the functioning of all applications, and the Android system. And all these accumulate and cause lag. You can make various settings without any additional programs, and your phone will be several times more efficient and will stop lagging and glitching. So watch this video carefully, support it with a like, and subscribe to the channel. So, we need to use our standard settings, which are available on all phones. Go to them and here, look for the section called about phone or phone information. Click here, if it's a Xiaomi phone or something similar with MIUI firmware, it will show the MIUI version and something else. Anyway, you need to quickly press this line about 57 times. Press it and now it says no need, you are already a developer. If you are doing this for the first time, it will congratulate you. You have become a developer. For those who have Samsung phones or other models, you also look for the phone information, but it will not show the firmware version or MIUI version. It will show the build number and you also need to press it about 57 times and then exit completely. Go back to the standard settings and here, Look for the option called Advanced Settings. Though here and at the bottom, you will see a line called for Developers. If it is a Samsung phone, look for all these settings in the System section and System Performance Settings. There will also be a line for Developers, but it will not be at the end. So pay attention and keep looking. Basically, it's all the same. When you go to developers, you will have access to a lot of settings and I will show you now which ones you need to activate, deactivate, and turn on. There is no search here, so watch carefully. Find the default log buffer, it will usually be set to 64 kilobytes, or maybe 256 for some. In general, set the maximum value for some settings. Mine are already set, I have been using them for a long time and everything works fine. So just check how mine is set and adjust your settings accordingly. It's very simple. Set the log level to warning. By the way, for some, it may already be disabled. Next, find system tracing. Here it is. Let's go in order. Click on categories here. And all of them, there will be different settings. For some, it will be 15. For others, 20 or 10. There will be different enabled settings. You need to uncheck all these settings and leave only the power, power management checkbox and click OK. Then check the selection for the three categories. This means you missed something. Then there are two more settings and click OK. At the bottom, it should say that one category is selected. Then a little lower. There will be a section called buffer size for each processor. By default, it is usually set to 8000. Set the maximum size available. I have seen more than 65000. So if you can set it higher, do it. This is not the log buffer that records some actions. No, this buffer is allocated separately for each processor to have more memory for processing certain tasks so that all programs work better, especially games, because games are usually resource intensive. They occupy a lot of memory and the processor simply can't keep up with all the processing. This will make your phone work better and it will allocate its resources for other tasks. So, this is a very good setting, especially for weak phones. Next, I recommend finding the window animation, transition animation, and animation duration settings. 
If you have a mid-range or budget farm, set the animation to 0.5 and the transition animation to 0.5 as well. And set the animation duration. If your farm is really weak, below average, then I recommend disabling this function altogether. Choose no animation. Also, check what default value is set for you. Usually, I have seen that it is set to 1.5x or even lower. This will significantly improve the performance of your system. Fewer resources will be used for rendering different animation transitions. In general, your farm will work easier and it will allocate its resources for other tasks. This is a very good setting, especially for weak farms. Next, I recommend finding another function called Force the XMSA. On some phones, there may be two such functions for XMS. Here, it says there is an additional function called 2XMS Eddy. If your phone is mid-range or even weak specifications, I recommend disabling these functions because they may be enabled by default. If your phone has top specifications, then on the contrary, enable this setting. It will improve the visual quality. This also applies to games and watching videos. My farm is of the budget class, so I don't use this because it causes lag in some games. What else can I recommend? Find your Google Play Store, the one you use to download games and apps. Open it on the right side. Click on your avatar and find a section called Help, Feedback. Click here and a menu will appear. Find how to uninstall apps from Android device and click on it. If you are using a dark theme, temporarily switch to the light theme because there may be an error. Not on all phones, it works fine on some foreign themes. But keep that in mind. Though here, it will load all the apps on your phone. Here, you can click on the More button to show system processes. There is no search here either, so you need to carefully scroll and find one of these apps called Joys. Look carefully because you could easily miss it. Usually, it is on the left side and has an Android icon. Go to this app and perform some actions here. It possibly restricts background activity and the operation of your processor meaning it controls when your phone needs to increase or decrease its performance. But in practice, I can tell you that this function works terribly on any phone. The phone simply doesn't have enough time to adapt to all your tasks. So when you launch a game, for example, a resource-intensive one, it should increase the processor's frequency so that the game doesn't lag. But it doesn't do that, and as a result, the game lags due to a lack of frequency. Then you exit the game and you haven't done anything on your phone. You are just scrolling through your home screen or watching YouTube, and it suddenly starts winning at maximum performance, overclocking your processor. In general, I advise you to clear the cache and storage at the beginning by clicking on the cache and storage buttons, and then go back here. Go to power and performance, and limit the battery usage when the app is in the background. Usually, it will be set to optimization for all apps. In any case, you need to limit it to the maximum and year. Before exiting, just click stop and stop it. If you have the option to disable it, you can do that too. Nothing bad will happen it will just work better. This especially applies to your processor and all these glitches and lags will stop.